and our schools. We have been keeping you updated every day on the climbing COVID cases among students and teachers. And in a few cases, schools have even switched back to virtual only learning. KPRC 2 Sophia Ojeda is live now in Fort Bend ISD. And Sophia, three schools there are now doing online instruction. And many parents are asking how and when are these decisions made? Good evening, Chris. Fort Bend IC says that they consider many factors before an entire school or a grade level will go virtual here at Oakland Elementary School. One of three schools going virtual tomorrow. Having enough total staff was an issue. Fort Bend ISD says parents will now get at least a 48 hours notice if their school needs to shift to online learning. Oakland Elementary School, Pecan Grove, and Drabeck Pre-K now shifted to online learning. The school district says officials go over many factors before a school switches to virtual learning. I saw the news last night on NBC showing that 29 case. So I, I guess they're doing something about it. I mean, I get it. They're trying to do what they think is right. But, you know, from us as parents, you know, it's definitely a lot of time to talk to employers to figure out everything else. According to Fort Bend ISD, Oakland Elementary has 26 positive student cases out of 895 students. Five teachers also positive. Their total staff, 96. Pecan Grove Elementary School, which is now also virtual, 37 students out of 742 have COVID. One teacher also positive. Their total staff, 88. Fort Bend ISD says they consider whether the school can resume classes, activities for all students. Will there be enough students and teachers in each class? And will there be enough teachers to cover any changes? The district's COVID committee goes over the numbers daily and decides if the school will be able to effectively continue in-person learning. She doesn't like it. <laughs> she wants to be at school. She wants to be with her friends. She wants to be with her teachers. My thought is good. Are they doing homeschool right now? Now, Fort Bend ISD said in a statement, we are sorry for the inconvenience. From now on, parents will be given 48 hours notice if their child's school will go virtual. And only well students would be allowed to come to school to pick up their belongings and those electronic devices. And this just coming down in the last few minutes, that mandatory mask mandate that school officials were going over, that is going into effect tonight at 11.59 for the district. Reporting live in Fort Bend County, Sophia Ojeda, KPRC 2 News.